This baby formula shortage is a time like no other. This isn't something that we've experienced before. So I, I want to help you understand how, as a hopeful adoptive parent, to prepare um, given those shortages that are in place. My name is Valerie Trumbauer. I'm a postpartum doula and a lactation counselor, and I have tons of adoption-specific resources to help you prepare for life with your newborn. You can collect, you can um, click the button below to check out my free online workshop. Totally free. Lots of great information. Okay, so as we're starting to kit to understand understand that you probably want to have formula on hand given the situation. That's not normally what I recommend is like stock up on formula just in case you're matched. But given the situation now, it probably is a good idea. I recently spoke with um, Mallory, who is the formula mom on Instagram, and her advice was to have two weeks of formula um, on hand. So about two cans of formula depending on the size of the can. So where should you be looking for this formula if um, if shelves are empty? You, a great place to go for this is to a local mom's Facebook group. New parents want to help other parents. And so posting what you're looking for um, and in the group, likely people will be responsive to that need. Now, there was a couple of months ago a formula recall, which kind of started all of this. And you want to make sure that the formula that you're getting was not part of that recall. So below, I will post uh, the link where you can check to be sure that the formula that you have is not part of the recall from a couple of months ago. Another option, if you are matched um, during this during this uh, recall or during this shortage, is to get all the samples you can at the hospital. If you're able to be at the hospital when the baby is discharged, ask for the samples. This is something that you want to do anyway, even when there isn't this formula shortage going on, but even more so now. Now, another question that a lot of people have is, should I be considering international formula, European formula? There... And I asked Mallory, the formula mom, and this was what she had to say about that. Is looking at international options a good idea at this point? Mm -hmm. Yes and no. Um, we're seeing even amongst some of our regulatory bodies and governing bodies, the FDA and the AAP, they are both saying that they are... Um, sort of relaxing their stance on European formulas. I think if you have access to it, it can be a great option. My only concern for folks is that we are still seeing supply chain delays and you don't want to order your formula and have it be sitting on a shipping container for like two weeks. Number one, because that's not a safe storage temperature. Number two, because if you're already having a shortage, that doesn't really help. So if you feel like you can get access to it and that you can pay to have it here in you know two or three days, it can be a good option. But just be aware that there are some challenges associated with uh, importing as well. Okay. And those, obviously, when you're going outside of the United States, it's not regulated by the same bodies that things are regulated here. So mm -hmm. is that just like research what you're getting or what's your, um, you know, mm -hmm. I, what's your thought on that? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. So European formulas are regulated by the European Commission. There are slightly different standards, particularly related to what they can and cannot use. So you might find goat milk formula in Europe. We don't allow that here in the US, or you might find lower iron. Generally speaking, though, we know that the nutrient needs of babies aren't like suddenly significantly different in Europe. Babies have the same needs in Europe that they do right. here and their regulations are also very strict. So of course, make sure that you trust the retailer that you're purchasing from, um, make sure that their website feels legitimate, um, that they give you good options, that they're not gouging their prices. Um, sorry, good options for shipping that they're not price gouging and things like that. Um, generally speaking, I find parents have a good sort of BS meter when you're For looking sure. at something and you're like, this looks a little sketchy. Mm -hmm. Don't order from those. Places. Another trust your gut parenting time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Another really common question is, should you be considering donated breast milk, especially during this time of this formula shortage? The first thing that we need to touch on is that your pediatrician is your go-to when it comes to nutritional advice for your baby. But let me say this about donated breast milk. So breast milk is a bodily fluid, right? So you want to, I would really, I'm really resistant to as kind as it is for people to be so generous with, they have a freezer full of milk and they want to help other people. Uh, my recommendation is that you would only get donated breast milk from someone who you trust, a uh, a friend or a family member, someone who you understand their lifestyle, you believe what they say as far as medication and 
you know, nutrition and things like that. So um, if that if there's someone in your life who is willing to be that person for you, if you're matched in the next couple of weeks during the shortage and you have that as um, as an option, I think it's probably a good option and worth running by your pediatrician for sure. I know that this is a really stressful time, and so I hope that you found this helpful. Remember that below, I have a free workshop, Seven Things Adoptive Families Learn, the first week home with the newborn, and you can check that out below, and it's totally free. And also check out this video.